two, one. It's for the four horsemen, brother. Yes. Okay, it appears we're live. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, gentleman Jervis Cottonbelly here. Uh, and I'm here to discuss this weekend's episodes, uh, rather shows, uh, for Wrestling is Awesome. Uh, we return to Fairfield, one of my favourite places, uh, for the first time in months. Uh, and then, on um, Sunday afternoon, we'll be in Nashua, New Hampshire. So, if you're local to the area, <coughs> oh, goodness, my voice is a bit hoarse to me. If you're local to the area, you should certainly stop by. Now, let's make sure, before we go ahead and start our um, official Q&A session, uh, let's make sure that we're streaming properly. I hope that you can see me, because if you can't, this is all for naught. Now, I'm going to have to uh, get close to the camera here for just a minute. Let's see how you know, I really should adjust this. Oh, oh. This monocle, it, it doesn't fit very well. And well, here I am uh, attempting to to stream this on YouTube, and I can't, I can't even read the screen. Uh, let's see. Settings, man. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think we're making a uh, headway. Almost. Um, and uh, let's see how many uh, visitors we have. Yes, we've got one viewer. Uh, welcome, my friend. Uh, it appears that it's just you and I now. Uh, I'm going to be running down this weekend's, uh, well, the matches for this weekend. Uh, at wrestling is awesome up in New England. Now, and note that I said New England. Not only England, where I'm from. Uh, but first, I want to make sure that we're streaming properly so that everyone can see this wonderful, uh, well, seemingly wonderful event. Now, where do we go? If there are any YouTube experts there, I would uh, strongly urge you to please uh, share your expertise. Okay, now, as long as I can sign into Twitter, uh, which I'm very familiar with, uh, then hopefully we can get this thing started. Oh yes, two viewers! Congratulations! We're reaching new heights! Uh, moment by moment. Now, let's see here. As soon as I put out the tweet, hopefully uh, folks will come flocking in and would love to hang out. Now, here's the incredible link. Okay then. Well, if you're just joining us, uh, welcome everyone. Gentlemen, Jervis Cottonbelly, at your service. Okay, so first things first, I think it's um, important that we pull up this, uh, the card for this weekend. Now, if you haven't heard, uh, we're going to be uh, appearing for Wrestling is Awesome in Fairfield, Maine, one of my favorites, and Nashua, New Hampshire on October 5th and 6th, and we'll also be crowning our very first champion. Yes. Uh, it's been a long, hard tournament, and I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, I actually had to face Max Smash Master in the uh, very first match. And well, I will say, he is a master of smashing. He smashed my skull in uh, fairly well. Uh, now, speaking of Max, 
on the 5th, in Fairfield, Maine, he'll be taking on the party peacock himself, and a very close personal friend of mine, uh, Dalton Castle. Now, Dalton is uh, rather new to the wrestling his circuit, but uh, he's quite a strong, burly fellow uh, with a beautiful voice. So I'll be on the lookout for that one. Uh, now, Max has been known uh, to get a bit uh, fisty, if you will. Um, he tends to use his fists closed, I might add, uh, during his matches. And, and Castle's more of a technical uh, grappler, if you will. Uh, but at any rate, I think it's going to be a very excellent match. Now, of course, if Max were here, we could certainly hear from him uh, in, in his opinions, because I know Max is very prominent on the internet. Uh, although he doesn't speak very much, does he? So perhaps that Devastation Corporation... What? It just hit me! The Devastation Corporation uh, Twitter handle is actually Sidney Bocabella. Who, speaking of which, I will be grappling with his protege, or rather his... Um, well, one of the grapplers he manages, Jacker. And if you're not familiar with Jacker, well, my friends, Jacker is... How do you say, um, hmm, Jack is a savage, an animal, a beast. Excuse me, lost my composure. Uh, speaking of animals, now, actually, if you'll just hold one second, I don't think we should get started fully yet. I think we should give it a bit of time, a bit of fluff, if you will. Uh, waiting for some of these folks to join. So, let's just wait and see, shall we? Now, I do have two loyal viewers out there, and uh, I've posted this uh, question. Uh, if you're using Google+, Plus, I believe I've um, enabled the audience questionnaire form, so that you may ask questions uh, and hopefully join uh, and, and come, you know, hang out with me. Uh, now, of course, I'm by myself, and, and it's a bit lonely in here. Now, there's a fairly nice weather outside. And, um, well, to be honest, actually, it's a bit warm, and I'm quite brisk, so I'm going to roll up my sleeves. Now, I wouldn't recommend this if you're out in public. Being a gentleman, uh, you would never want to roll your sleeves up in a public forum. But if you're in your own home, well, you can't go wrong rolling your sleeves. Now, back to the action. So, as I mentioned previously, Max Smashmaster will be taking on Dalton Castle. Uh, that's Saturday, the 5th in Fairfield, Maine. That's going to be a very interesting match, but uh, what's more interesting is uh, Scott Parker, a personal friend of mine, again, uh, is going to be taking on Juan Francisco de Coronado. And my friends, I don't know if you remember the last time Juan Francisco went to Fairfield, Maine, but I certainly do. Because I defeated him! Hooray! Uh, yes, excuse me, I seem to be losing my composure again. Uh, no, Juan Francisco is a very skilled competitor. Actually, just last week we uh, travelled back in time and, well, perhaps I've said too much already. Now. I'm going to go ahead and put a few more plugs out, if you will, um, for our Google Plus Hangout, so that our fans may join us and, in, in, I guess, pop in. Now, I want to send a special shout out, excuse me, oh, I'm fumbling my words, uh, uh, Leila Bergeron, who is one of my most dear friends and supporters uh, from Haverhill, Massachusetts. And that's not Haver Hill, it's Haverhill. Uh, Layla is actually the one who inspired me to do this hangout. And she should be here asking questions and participating actively, but I'm uh, assuming she has some technical difficulties. So um, I'm going to go ahead and keep the floor open here uh, for questions, and perhaps we can just talk grappling. Uh, you can tell me what you like about, you know, the current state of affairs in wrestling, and I can share my thoughts too. So it seems we've got a steady viewership of three. Uh, so welcome, all three of you. I suppose you could call us uh, together the Four Horsemen, brother. Or perhaps not. I don't know. That's, that's what you know. Oh, yes, we've got four viewers. Yay! Hooray! We're getting there. Now, uh, I'm trying to make this uh, streamable on the Wrestling Is YouTube page. Uh, I've been granted special access to it. 
uh, so that I can run this well chat. Unfortunately, though, I don't know how to do that. So if you're a YouTube expert, submit uh, a comment here. I think we can do a chat. Yes. Let us see. Greetings, friends. Warmly, James Cotton. See how well this worked, yeah. Okay. So I believe I have a communicate to type uh, communication method there, and I'll be able to answer all your questions. Uh, so again, back to the action. Saturday, August fifth. August fifth. What, what? What month is it? What year is it? I swear, I have to stop all this time travel. It. it oh, oh my! Again, I've said too much. So, uh, back to Scott Parker and Juan Francisco de Coronado. This is going to be a very interesting match. Because the people in Fairfield hate Juan Francisco and they know about his cheating ways. And Scott Parker, uh, unlike old gentleman Jervis, hasn't been away from the ring for a whole long time uh, the way I was. You see, Scott has been actively participating on the independent wrestling circuit. And, um, well, I have a feeling he's going to bring uh, some veteran experience in a bit... A bit of lightheartedness that Juan needs to the table. Also in action, and this is going to be the match to look out for, I can assure you. Green Ant and Frank O'Rourke. Frank, don't call him Francis O'Rourke, you see. Uh, Frank and Green Ant, well, they're two of the heaviest hitters that we have uh, at Wrestling Is. And I think the last time they met, if you saw it, on June 30th, uh, at, in Boonton, New Jersey, uh, they grappled over the, well, the title of the best. Uh, they wanted the, the quest to be best tournament, uh, which I was involved in. I lost in a first match round to Drew Gulak, who is one of the best. Uh, Green Ant and Frank actually advanced to the final, and they had one of the uh, most gruesome Hard-hitting, bloodiest matches I've ever seen. So I'd be anxious to see just what they pull uh, out of their pockets in Fairfield, Maine. It should be very interesting indeed. Now, uh, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, Shane Big Magic Matthews is going to be in attendance. And he's going to be taking on uh, the powerhouse, one of the most, well, one of the powerhouses of uh, the entire wrestling is awesome roster. And this is a main resident now, so if you're not familiar with him, I think you should get familiar with him. But Anthony Mack uh, is going to be uh, performing, and he's just a, a massive beast of a man. Uh, and he's actually gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with quite a few of our best. So. Uh, It'd be interesting to see when these two big behemoth men collide, what's going to happen. Now, we're also going to have Jive and Jimmy and Andy versus Jacka and Oleg. And while I don't know much about Jimmy and Andy, I can tell you this. Sidney Barcabella, who manages Jacka and Oleg? Well, the only way to put it is, Mr. Bacabella is quite dastardly, and I think he's going to do whatever he has to do to pull out a victory for his team. Now, Jaka and Oleg, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think they've ever teamed together. But it should be interesting to see what happens uh, when a savage and a Nordic uh, conquering savage in Oleg the Usurper get together. So, that brings us to my dear friend, my dear, dear friend, the Thunderfrog, the Estonian Thunderfrog. He'll be taking on none other than that nasty little poop goblin, Kobold. And I think that it should be very interesting because these two have met countless times. I would say over maybe perhaps 10, uh, 12 times in the ring. Uh, now, those matches have been scattered across six mans and uh, regular tag team action and uh, one-on-ones and uh, two-on-twos and three-on-threes and, and other such uh, scenarios. But I don't remember the last time they grappled one-on-one. -on -one. 
And if you haven't paid attention to Cobalt lately, uh, some things to note. He's become quite aggressive. If you saw his match against Stephen the Turtle Whiner, uh, there were several open hand slaps right across the face of Mr. Whiner. Now, I'm not a proponent of closed fists. I don't ever think you should grapple with a closed fist. But there's nothing more insulting than an open hand slap. But let's not, let's hope, my friends, let's hope that Cobalt doesn't go there. So we're going to pop in and check the Twitter feed to see if we've got any new questions. Oh, will the world's sweetest slam be your new finisher? You know, I've been thinking about that, and here's my thoughts on finishers. You have to be confident enough that you can win a match after performing said move. And currently, my most lethal move is the ankle lock. Yes! But the world's sweetest slam, well, you... Uh, and, and to describe the move, it's very simple. You sling their arm over your shoulder and pick them up. Rock them gently, lull them into a false sense of security, and a drop! And that's how it's done, my friends. That's what I do! Uh, speaking of what I do, pay attention uh, to the match I'll be having against Dirty Bucks Belmar. If you're not familiar with Dirty Bucks, uh, he's a very, uh, very highly capable, but unfortunately lost soul of a wrestler. And I shouldn't say soul, but, well, he's just filthy, dirty, uh, downright nasty. And let's just say I've got a few things prepared uh, for Mr. Belmar. You see, I want to make sure that we remain clean. Uh, so, let's see. Now, Dirty Bucks, I urge you to please scrub up before our match with Dove brand soap. Oh, purely pampering. Shea butter, beauty bar with vanilla scent. I think I'm going to keep this for myself. Who doesn't want to smell like vanilla? It's glorious. It's wonderful. Now, Mr. Belmar, another said thing you could do is use this to scrub your back. Now, here's hoping that Mr. Belmar doesn't show up smoking and spitting and uh, snorting and puking the way that he normally does. Because if he does, I'll have to take matters into my own hands. So watch out, Dirty Bucks. Because if I don't defeat you, at the very least, I'll make sure that you get a good cleaning and a good scrub. Ah! Ah! They're my unmentionables! You weren't supposed to see those. Ah. Get that out of here. Uh, so anyway, that's the show uh, for Saturday in Fairfield, Maine. Now, if you've never been uh, to the community center there in Fairfield, uh, the address, and give me one second here, the address is 61 Water Street, that's W-A-T-E-R Street, in Fairfield, Maine. Uh, the better time is 7 p.m., doors open at 6, front row tickets are $15, general admission is 10, and here's the best part. Children get in free with a paying adult. So, if you're thinking about uh, bringing the family out on a lovely Saturday evening, start it off with a nice wrestling show. Uh, because I tell you, no one does uh, family-friendly grappling uh, quite like wrestling is. So, again, the rundown. We'll have Dalton Castle versus Max Smash Master. Uh, 
Scott Parker versus Juan Francisco de Coronado. Green Ant versus Franco Rock. And I guarantee you that will steal the show. Shane Matthews versus Anthony Mack. Jimmy and Andy versus Jacko and Oleg. Gentleman Jervis Cottonbelly against Dirty Fox Benmar. And the Estonian Thunderfrog versus Cobalt. And unfortunately, Cobalt couldn't join me this afternoon uh, to, to join you here on um, Twitter and, and Google Plus and all of these different uh, mediums. But uh, unfortunately, it appears my friend Layla is having trouble uh, getting into the, the Google Hangout. Oh, I'm sorry, my dear, but um, I think we're going to have to try and reschedule one uh, so that we can all join, and perhaps uh, the frog can join, and Kobold, uh, perhaps they can perhaps they can settle their uh, beef on the internet, and then they won't have to resort to in-ring fisticuffs. Now, moving on to Sunday's show at the Nashua Elks Log Lodge, excuse me, in Nashua, New Hampshire. Now the show takes place at 3 p.m. October 6th and it features the tournament final. And if you're not familiar with the tournament, my friends, for wrestling is awesome, we're, well, we, I was grappling, we all were grappling over this wonderful red belt that we don't know just how awesome it is, but it's got little planet Saturns on it, which reminds me of my dear friend Saturine. I wonder where she's been. Uh, you know, I have to borrow her spaceship one of these days. Anyway, this is Saturday, uh, this is Sunday show. We're going to have uh, a tournament final, a tournament semi-final, and another tournament semi-final. So, if you're a fan of what uh, the King of the Ring used to be, perhaps you'll enjoy the show, because uh, these are going to be uh, grapplers who have to perform twice in one day just to win and become the champion. Now, uh, that being said, we don't know exactly who is going to be in the championship match. But I can tell you that it's between these eight wrestlers. Castle, Smashmaster, Parker, De Coronado, Greenant, O'Rock, Matthews, and Mac. So take your pick. My favorite for the tournament is Franco Rock, But that's only because he won the quest to be best. Uh, now, with that being said... I think Max Smashmaster could make uh, quite a run at this tournament. Speaking of Max Smashmaster, the master of smashing and the Spinebuster 85, Max Smashmaster's partner, Flex Rumble Crouch. Mm. <laughs> the most nutritious breakfast cereal coming this fall. Uh, Flex Rumble Crunch will be taking on Jive and Jimmy. And if you're not familiar with either of those two, Flex is a big, nasty son of a gun with a shaved head and yellow tights, which I approve of. And Jive and Jimmy is a fun, dancing, hip-hop... Uh, well, hippo is the wrong term. I know that that may be copywritten. But um, he is a hip-hop kind of guy who uh, really likes to get down, if you know what I mean. Uh, now, it should be interesting to see how their styles clash. Another interesting match that will be happening on October 6th at the Nashua Elks Lodge is Surfer Mitch, whoa, groovy man. Is that right? Do surfers say groovy? Oh, no. No, surfers are more laid back. Yeah, bro, we're just chilling. Look here, surfer belly. Oh, goodness. I say, I don't feel like doing anything today. Well, perhaps surfing, maybe. But that's it. Hang ten, bro! Okay, uh, Surfer Mitch is going to be taking on uh, Dirty Bucks Belmar. Now, hopefully Dirty Bucks Belmar isn't on a win streak, because I grapple Dirty Bucks tomorrow. But on Sunday, uh, Surfer Mitch and Bucks will be going at it. And if you give YouTube a nice search, uh, actually search Surfer Mitch versus Bucks Belmar, uh, you'll actually see these two have grappled before. So they know each other very well. Uh, and apparently on the Canadian circuit, um, they've been, uh, well, they've been raising quite a few eyebrows and turning quite a few heads. So if I were you, I would pay close attention to what they're going to do on Sunday afternoon. That brings us uh, to the final two matches on Sunday that uh, you should be paying attention to and, and certainly uh, giving your odds for. 
and that's Oleg versus the Thunder Frog. Now, Oleg the Usurper and the Thunder Frog, uh, they have met before, I believe. And that, well, if I'm not mistaken, it was at the very first Wrestling is Awesome show back in December of 2012. On that show, I actually wrestled Mike Quackenbush. Uh, and, well, he put on quite a clinic that day. Uh, but with that being said, they'll be wrestling again at uh, this Wrestling is Awesome show. And I think that after about a year of the Thunder Frog wrestling consistently uh, in the United States, he's really come into his own. Uh, I'm not sure if you've seen it, but the Thunder Frog just last week had a show-stealing match against Delirious, uh, Ring of Honor's own Delirious. Um, and uh, the Thunder Frog and Delirious, uh, were, while they may contrast in their... Uh, well, in the way they feel about each other, uh, in the way they feel about the ring. You know, Delirious can be awfully nasty sometimes, and Thunderfrog is, he fights for peace. It'll be interesting to see what Thunderfrog can do against Oleg the Usurper, because Thunderfrog has really come into his own. And while Oleg has been a staple on the American independent circuit for quite some time, it should be interesting to see how these two titans clash. Don't forget, though, my friend the Thunderfrog well, he doesn't have his hammer, no. Uh, and he's been rather broken, uh, no pun intended, since he lost his hammer. Now, my friends, I'm going to send out a live tweet just to make sure Here we are. Yes, wonderful. Now, ooh, we've got nine viewers. You know, back when we started, we only had three, plus me. Which made the four horsemen, brother. This is my horseman pose. Yes. What say you, uh, Ric Flair? No, no, I wouldn't do that. No. You, I wasn't really a fan of the American scene in the 70s and 80s. Uh, 80s mostly. Uh, no, no, uh, how is it say? <laughs> Take that, Magnum TA! Yes! Good thing Cindy Marcabella is not here. He would slap me silly if he heard me talking ill about the full husband. Not that I'm speaking ill, but I'm just giving my full husband a vote. Look at that. Okay, anyway. So, there's one more match on Sunday that I think you should be aware of. And that's yours truly, Jervis Cottonbelly, versus Jacker. Now, Jackie and I met uh, last month in August. Uh, we were at the Varnum Armory in East Greenwich, Rhode Island. Beautiful, beautiful town. Uh, and, well, Jaka and I, we had quite an encounter, but it was cut short by Sidney Barcabella and his, his pay envelope. Now, that pay envelope uh, was surely loaded with something nasty. As he covered me on the head with it. And I won by disqualification. But a gentleman never, never wants to win by disqualification. Because if I win by disqualification, well, it doesn't really prove anything, does it? No. You see, I must win soundly. So, Jacka, I'll say this. And I'll leave you all with this. On Sunday, October 6th, you'll see an animalistic side of Jeva's cotton belly. You may as well call me Peter Cottontail. Because I'm going to be hip hop and all over you, fool! Look, open fists, no close fists. Open. They must be open if you're a grappler. This is what boxers do. This is what grapplers do. Boxer, grappler, boxer, grappler, boxer, grappler, boxer, grappler. Okay. So it seems that uh, our viewership is increasing, but I'm not getting any questions on this uh, question app. Why hasn't that question? How do I? I can't see anything. How do I? I say, I fancy this new hat. What do you think? It's camel. Uh, that was what the, the store showman told me. I bought it in New York City. Yes. Okay, my friends. Well, uh, I'd like to thank you all for joining me. This again was an experimental uh, event. But. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, my.
I hope Dr. Cube came up in the discussion. Hashtag I am Chikara. Hashtag I am paranoid. What? I'm not sure what that would mean. What? Dr. Cube, what does he have to do with wrestling is awesome? Did I miss something? Let me do a quick Google search. This is strange. Oh my. Well. Okay then, friends. I'm going to uh, go ahead and bring up, I believe uh, I can use the YouTube app uh, here. No, what? Stop it. It doesn't seem to want to work. Hmm. Uh, yes, I guess YouTube doesn't want to stop, but I'll bring up the audio. On October 6th, Nashua, New Hampshire, you will claim wrestling is awesome. You will chant, you will scream, you will cry. This is awesome. I hope they but do. It's not. Wrestling, for all its brutal glory, is not awesome. Science is awesome. Medicine is awesome. Dr. Hugh is awesome. Amen. On October 6th, in Nashua, New Hampshire, you will chant, and you will cry, and you will scream. Yeah. But not for your wrestling heroes. They will be screams of terror, cries of pain, a symphony of destruction. Uh, okay, well, uh, if you're not familiar with what I've just watched, I'm terrified now. Uh, explorations in professional wrestling. I thank you for tweeting that question to me, but I don't know why you felt the need to scare me. Now, uh, Indy Mark. Oh, Absolute Rassel wants to know. Gentlemen Jervis, will you present Bucks with the Rose? You know, if you weren't watching, uh, I've got this prepared. This is a gift uh, that I'm going to give him, and I'm telegraphing it, because I think he needs to see that it's okay to clean, my friend. It's okay. And I'll also be sharing... Uh, a bit of... Ah! My unmentionables! Ah! The Dove brand soap. Ah! There we are. Uh, yes, so... Dirty box! Get ready, my friend! Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll be presenting those to him and hopefully they work. But a rose is a great idea because roses smell so fresh. So lovely. And perhaps I'll present him with one. And it'll brighten up his day. We won't even have to grapple. We can shake hands like men uh, and go out for ice cream or something similar. And that was not a big at Ellie Hoda ice cream. It's not going to be at this event, unfortunately. He's so entertaining, that, that wily Mexican fellow. Okay, my friends. Well, uh, after that terrifying Dr. Cube video, which I uh, had not seen. Oh, wait a minute. Kenneth Mew asks, Gentleman Jervis, what do you know about time travel? You seem like you're from another time. Well, my friend, I am. And when it comes to time travel, I know quite a bit. But it can be awfully confusing, really. Uh, as I mentioned before, I traveled back in time on last Sunday. Uh, you can follow all the action uh, at Old Wrestling. And that's old with an E. Uh, old Wrestling, yes. That, that's what I was last Sunday. And um, uh, yes, that was quite a trip through time. Uh, I, I actually saw uh, Chuck Taylor's grandfather, who was a bootlegger. Uh, he used to run rum uh, during the American Prohibition. Uh, and I saw, who else was there? Sue Jackson made his way there. Um, uh, Jeremy Madrox. Who, I must say, Mr. Madrox, I cannot wait to get my hands on you. Uh, 
because we will have certainly uh, one of the finest grappling matches. But I also must uh, give a polite shout out to my friend Marion Fontaine, the one of the finest tag partners I've ever had, and one of the only tag partners I've ever had where we have been victorious. So, uh, Mr. Fontaine, thank you for inviting me on a trip back in time. Now, uh, back to the question, what do I know about time travel? What don't I know about time travel? You'll have to be more specific. So, let's see if uh, any other questions have rolled in. Uh, Absolute Russell wants to know what my favorite flavor of ice cream is. Uh, my favorite flavor is CM Pup... Uh, wait, no, they, they never made those, did they? Uh, no, I actually uh, like pistachio. Not by planters, though. I don't like that planters company. Just don't, not fond of them. No, not very. Okay, uh, now let's see if we've got any more questions floating in. Um, I don't think we do, but I'd love to take some more uh, while I'm here. Uh, if you're not uh, familiar with my regiment, that is easy. Uh, I'm actually going to be uh, grappling tonight. Well, not grappling per se, but I'm going to be training, if you will. Uh, so I'll be heading uh, off to the factory um, uh, to, well, to train. Yeah. Uh, and I've got myself some uh, tea prepared right over there with honey and with, um, well, uh, a bit, one of those squeezable apple sauces. Uh, they go down very easy. You see, I have to eat through my, my nostrils because uh, I don't have a mouth, as you can see. Uh, anyway, uh, my friends, for wrestling is awesome. I've been Javis Cottonbelly, and I hope you've all enjoyed. And I hope that if you're in the New England area, you'll come out and support us because it's going to be quite a show. On Sunday, we'll be crowning the first ever Wrestling is Awesome champion. So please do attend. It would be very fun. And I'd be so remiss if I didn't get to see you. And perhaps, just perhaps, Jervis Cottonbelly would bring roses for the crowd. And everyone can indulge. Because I really think we've got to do something about that stinky, dirty box Belmar. My friends, thank you for joining. And again, those dates are October 5th in Fairfield, Maine. And if you'd like the address, I can give it to you. 61 Water Street, Fairfield, Maine. Bell time is 7 p.m. Tickets are $15 for front row, 10 for general admission, and all kids get in free. My friends, thank you for joining me. You've been so lovely. I love you all. Warmly, Jervis Cottonbelly.